Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, over here in this video, we are going to learn about the GPS system, how this GPS work, what are the modules, what are the segments in the GPS and what are the applications, advantages, disadvantages along with the errors in the GPS system. So guys, if you are new to my education channel over here Engineers Academy, please consider subscribing and guys please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get instant notification. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic of GPS. So nowadays there is a lot of advancement in the technology, in the technological segments. So basically in our Android mobile, there are a lot of apps which uses, which actually uses your GPS signals, which actually uses the GPS receiver to receive the signals from the satellites. Uh, this user, uh, now this apps uh, includes the Google Maps, some sort of the food ordering apps, also navigation apps such as like uh, Ola, Uber. So these kinds of app uses the GPS to track your location, to tra to uh, to navigate from one location to another location. So actually, what is GPS? Like from ancient time, we need like something to navigate ourselves from one location to another location. In the ancient time. Like uh, people use the star constellations, the star arrangement in a such a way that when the earth rotates, okay, as the earth rotates, the position of the stars get changes. So this is the, and uh, this actually, this, this will actually help people to find their own way. So in ancient times, people use the star constellation, but nowadays due to advancement in the technology, we are using the satellite constellation. And this satellite constellation is there like a bunch of satellites which are continuously continuously revolving around the medium uh, medium Earth orbit, and there are uh, like uh, this particular system consists of GPS. This these bunch of the satellites consist of GPS system. So GPS stands for a Global Positioning System, and this particular system is originally implemented by the United States, and it is originally for the for the military purpose, but it is now open for everyone. Everyone can access the GPS satellites because these uh, satellite signals are open for everyone. Any receiver can access this uh, GPS satellites. So alongside with that, this particular global positioning system is a satellite system which actually helps people to navigate from one location to another location. Also, there is another system from Russia that is GLONASS, Baidu from China, India that is NAVIC. So these are, you know, these are the satellite positioning systems uh, derived by the different countries for their accessibility and for their operations. So now let's talk about this, how this GPS system works. What are the segments in the GPS system? So first of all, we have to understand that GPS system consists of the three segments. This particular three segments are include the space segment, the control segment and the user segment. The space segment consists of this satellite constellations. It means there are there are total around uh, uh, 32 satellites which consist of this GPS system. Out of this 32 satellites, the 28 are in actual operation, and the rest of the satellites can be used as a spares. So now over here, whenever the breakdown or whenever the failure will occur, the spares can be used. Also for the maintenance activity, these spares can also be used. So so without affecting the actual work. So now this particular all the satellites continuously revolve and covers the all the areas of the earth and in such a way that at a particular location there has to be minimum four satellites are accessible it means to get a particular location we need at least four satellites to get the accurate desired location of an object of it of the targeted location so this is how this satellite systems works so also this particular satellite systems are having the atomic clocks which are present. So this particular atomic clock is the accurate timing. It gives the accurate timing. Now, what is the what is the meaning of that accurate timing? So time is a like a, is an entity just like the distance. So now distance can have the tolerances. Also the time has an has some sort of tolerances, and it is different for different regions. So to access a particular time in that location with high accuracy and high precision. So this is the reason atomic clocks are used. Also we can say that these particular atomic clocks are nothing but like a reference standard for clocks. It means these particular atomic clocks are considered as an accurate timing. 
for all the different segments and different locations. So this is nothing. This is all consists of the space segment. Now let's talk about the control segment. So over here, in case of control segment, so there is the master control station, and alongside with that, there are five substations. So now these five substations receives the signal from GPS satellites, which are in that particular area. Now the information given by the GPS satellites, the geographical data, the time information, and the other sensitive sensitive information is then filtered in that particular. Uh, substations and then that particular information is sent towards the master control station for their review and their approval now after their approval they if they say there is some sort of changes in the uh, data information so those then that filtered data or as that revised data is then sent against the satellite and this particular control stations controls the like the amount of the data which is going to viewed by the end user by the uh, my end user so after that comes the user segment so now over here in case of the user segments there are the people like you and me also which which is having the actual receiver present and which receives the signals from the uh, satellites so this particular signals are nothing but the filtered data Uh, that is of the master control station filters all the data so that particular data received by the user at the and this is the last stage okay so the data received by the receiver like it is a filtered data and uh, in this particular user segments like uh, the military comes also like the other third party apps that we using like uh, google maps and everything so these are this is uh, so and over here what kind of results we get from the this gps satellites is there in this user segment so now over here so it is having a lot of applications in the weather time uh, or is in the geographical conditions of the earth also like a uh, forecast can be determined by this satellites and like the it is also used in military services for the security surveillance purposes also for the missile guidance system so these are nothing but the applications which comes under this user segment so over here we have seen this three segments of uh, like uh, space segment control segment and the user segment so now let's move towards the actual working of the gps so as we all know there has to be minimum three or four satellites at a particular location to given the accurate location the accuracy must be present over here that is this particular gps gives us the accuracy of 7.8 meters like it can be it depends upon the number of satellites which are available in that particular area so that the accuracy will increase more the satellite present in that area more will be the your accuracy so now over here you can see these are the circles okay and this circles intersect each other at that particular point so that particular point which is present over there that is the actual location and it is determined by the time taken from that particular receiver to send out the signals to the uh, satellite and to receive that particular signal so this is nothing but the difference between the time taken of the signal to send and receiving time that is nothing but the ping time we can call it as so this is uh, this is the time measurement like the distance me gets measured over here the distance between the satellite and the receiver okay and if there are more number of satellites are present the distance gets uh, like uh, measured for each and every satellites at it actually calculates the location it actually call calculates the coordinate of that particular uh, user which is of that particular receiver in that area so this is how uh, this gps works this gps signals are very sensitive it is travel at the speed of light into the space but over here when it is the sig the signals from travel from the satellite towards the gps receiver it has to be cross the ionosphere and the troposphere of the earth so this is the reason this some kind of the signals get refracted from its original so that's you know that this will affect the accuracy so this is the possibly error which occurs over here in case of this gps also guys we cannot get this gps signals in the urban area because you know there are a lot of crowd a lot of a uh, lot of uh, disturbances due to the cell phones signals it is it is this particular gps signals is weak than that of my cell phone signals so Uh, then out of the radio signals we can also call so this is the reason we cannot get access in the indoor conditions under the trees and uh, like in the urban regions no doubt this gps provides the accurate positioning system but 
in certain cases under uh, urban areas we cannot get we cannot get access to the gps satellites and we cannot get this uh, uh, accurate position so this is the reason some kind of the gps satellites you know some kind of the positioning system G gps also access your mobile data it means it also access the gprs of your cell phone so this is the reason this gps signals get a strength from the uh, like the like the from the local network also is there is a, another factor that affects the accuracy of the gps that that is nothing but the gdop that is nothing but the geometric dilution of positioning now this particular geometric dilution depends upon the geometric uh, constellation of the satellites in a particular area how this satellites arrange in a such a way that it will get it will give you an effective effective measurements effective location readings from all the areas so this is the geometric arrangement of all the satellites in order to give us the high accuracy and high precision so by doing that we can reduce the possibility gps errors it means the location of the gps satellites is related to the one another so that the uh, net positive error will get reduced over here so guys that was all about the global positioning systems i hope you like my video if you have any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please to subscribe to my educational channel in just academy thank you so much guys for watching this video